When you're painting with acrylics, you have two main kinds of brushes. You have round brushes and flat brushes. Um, you should set up your area with some kind of paper underneath. So if you have any paint that goes off of your surface, uh, it could be caught by that. About half a can of water. Don't want a full can because it's too easy to spill. And then the acrylic paint that you're going to use. Uh, I like to use popsicle sticks to help keep the colors clean. I also take plain old copy paper fold it in half, and then I use that as a place where I can mix my colors so that my colors in my cups stay clean. So my main color is going to be green. Go ahead and put that on my paper. I'm going to use yellow to make my highlights. And I'm going to use blue to make my shadows. I'm not taking a ton of paint. About the size of a nickel or a quarter there is all I need. So I'm going to use my flat brush to fill in. So flats are great to fill. And when you're working with a flat brush, you want to flip it so that you get the most paint out of it as you can. Go kind of close to the edges. But I want to avoid going outside of my boundaries. And then I go ahead and fill in. And when it runs out of paint, flip it over and you can get the other side. And, and fill in. My edges, I didn't go right to the edge with my color, so I'm going to go back with my green and clean up that edge with a round brush. And round brushes are really good for doing lines and getting in those little details and corners. So I can use the tip of the brush to go along here. And notice when I'm painting with the brush, I'm holding it kind of like I do a pencil. I'm not holding it from the end of the brush. I'm not kind of doing this sort of thing with it. We're using it to paint a line. Now I've got it filled in. So we give our objects a main color. And then we can go ahead and start to mix colors. Now, because I'm going to mix everything with green, I don't have to wash my brush. But if I was going to go into a red, I would definitely want to wash it out in between. But I want to actually add some yellow and green together and mix that up. And a little bit more yellow. And this is going to be my highlight. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in there so it makes the leaf look a little lighter on that side. I can mix a little bit of blue with my green. And that's going to make a shadow. brush run out of paint so it naturally sort of fades. And I can even use some water if I want to, to fade it out. Maybe I want that edge to be a little softer. So if I want to put a little texture in my leaf, like some veins, go ahead and this time I'm just going to use blue. And I can go ahead and put a vein going down the leaf. Then I'm done with my painting. For proper cleanup, you're going to go ahead and wash your brushes one at a time in your can. Now, this won't be fully clean. If I do this, there's a little bit of a green tint to it, so it needs to be washed one more time at our sink. I set up three buckets, and we have our three bucket wash system.
you're going to try and wash more than one brush at the same time. Uh, make sure you separate them, but it's always better to wash them one at a time. And you're going to go in the bottom of the first bucket, which has some soap and water in it, and you just paint the bottom of the bucket. Then you go to the second one, again, for about 10 seconds, paint the bottom of the bucket, and then the third one, again, paint the bottom of the bucket. That should be rinsed. And then at the end, you take your fingers and you squeeze the brush and make sure that the water is clear, or you could see on this side, I put some paper up on the wall and you just test your brush on that paper to make sure it's clean. Always make sure a clear acrylic is cleaned out of the brushes because acrylic dries and is permanent and won't come out. So it's important not to ruin your brushes. When you put them away, you make sure you put them in the can with the brush end up and that way they'll stay clean and dry.